Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to show you how we poured a stamped colored border. So here we have a 12 foot wide by 34 foot long uh, concrete side patio area. This is going to have a stamped border colored finish. And then in the squares that are in between, we're going to do a non colored broom finish. So it's going to look really nice. Um, this color that the customer chose, it's kind of like a brown brownish color so it came out pretty nice uh, in this case we are pouring with a pump especially because there's a lot of obstacles a lot of forms that we had to go through so there was really no way um, access wise you know to get a wheelbarrow or something else to bring the concrete in so uh, we just had to use the pump and then they have the little remote to um you know pour some more or pour less or whatever and uh we just did it little by little as we need it so right here right there we have a little screed board that we just run the run it on top of the surface from each form edge and with a shovel as well you know at the same time while we're pouring we're making sure that we're just moving the concrete around getting it in all the areas that we need running our street uh, little board along the the surface so that way we can just um, any excess concrete you know we can move it around and then we have our little um, trowel tool and then our um, hand float um, we use those you know to kind of surface uh, get the the surface a little more smooth and you know fill in any little gaps or, or little dips or holes or whatever uh, we just got to make sure that it's nice and 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 flat across the surface so that's why we do this early on when we pour the concrete and like you can tell right there our workers are just kind of working the concrete surface and then right there you know if they notice any deficiencies or any areas that are a little low we can take advantage of all the concrete that we have and just, um, you know, we can shovel it and put it into those areas. Right here, this is um, up against the house foundation. So we're starting to work around um, that edge. And uh, they had a lot of borders. You know, they had like a couple, three, three borders going vertically. And then they had like several borders going horizontally so this was a design that our customer chose and it's something that they really wanted to go with so uh which ended up looking really nice um the layout and everything i i really liked that it. It, it came out pretty good so early on in the process one thing that that you'll want to do as well is do your edger so we have this little edging tool that we put in into the uh, all along the edge we just run it across the surface and as you can tell right there this this helps us to get a nice clean edge so right here we're just running it we, we want to run it on all of the edges right here we have another edger a little bit larger one that has a, a metal pole attached to it so like you can see right here this helps us advance um, you know get a lot more coverage a lot more area more efficiently more quickly so one person is doing this you know that's enough the other guys had to go help with something else or do something else so right here we just have one person doing all of the edging work and um, one other nice thing to have is get like a spray bottle and just spray the concrete surface so um, in case if it starts to dry or, or it starts to get a little dry or whatever, you can spray the surface with a little bit of water and that helps so that way you can glide your, your tool across the surface a little easier. You know, so right here, that's what we're doing. We're just spraying the surface, getting it a little nice and wet. 
and then we're just gliding our edger tool um, to get that nice clean edge we're running our our hand hand float um, uh, you know our hand trowels all of that we're just running those across the surface making sure that it's nice and smooth and um, we have little mounds of concrete there as well you know so we just continue to feel along the surface just making sure that from each edge of the form board that you know everything is kind of going across pretty smoothly if we see if there's like a little dip or whatever we also take advantage of this time and we're just you know putting a little bit of concrete so this is an overview of how the whole thing is looking So we're doing some finishing touches all along the surface and on this day it started to rain on us and as you can tell it's a little bit windy so we the good thing you know we had this long thin plastic we just started to put it um over all of the surface area because if you get a lot of rain you know hitting your your especially a colored concrete it's gonna um uh, kind of stain it and it's gonna discolor it so you'll want to have some plastic handy just in case if it, if there's going to rain. So luckily for us, it wasn't that long. And so we just put it in there for a little while and then we took it out. And right here, you know, we're just running our, our um, Fresno tool and just getting the surface nice and smooth. And uh, this is one of the final steps that we are doing. So that way we can get the... Um, the next step will be the uh, doing the stamp work. So that will come up next right here. We're just going to get all this area prepped. And uh, like you can tell right here, we have our stamp. Um, in this case, you know, we had to cut the stamp in half. Normally the stamps come like in two foot wide sections. But since we had a lot of forms and a lot of, a lot of like stakes, we cut them in half. That way they just fit properly. The cur the um, the border width is about 10 inches wide right here. So right here we just uh, w what we have to do is you have to get the this like sprayer and uh, we have like a special liquid from brick form and um, it's like a, a, a like an oil based material. So. Um, we also ran a string line, so we ran a string line from edge to edge, and that gives us the center line, so that way we can align the stamp, so that it runs along that um, that line that we put into the concrete surface. So we just, you know, put the the stamp there next to each other. When we put it down, we kind of hold it with our foot, and then we just use that pounder. We just pound the surface. Um, you know give it a little bit of of strength in there so it kind of um makes that indentation into the concrete and uh that's pretty much it you know we just kind of uh make sure we're careful align it up um when when we spray that that liquid um oily material we we spray it onto the uh concrete surface but then we also spray it onto the actual stamp itself and that helps you know that way it doesn't um stick to the concrete and so like you can tell right here we have already uh stamped a good portion of the area so one thing that i saw as you're working with these stamps you just have to be you know just 
very careful finessing the the stamp you know when you put it down you have to make sure that it goes nice and straight into place uh the nice thing is that the edges you know they, they have like a little system where you just you just put it right next to the the next stamp and it and it goes uh it connects you know really nice and so um when you put it down you have to put it nice and straight down in there when you lift it up you want to kind of lift it up evenly so that way you're not like uh dragging it or something because then that will make marks on the surface so you just kind of um just do it carefully whoever's doing that um that way you have a nice uh uniform stamp all the way through and um so that's pretty much you know how we do the stamp we did that throughout all of the border area and then right here you know right where the utilities are we have a little rolling uh, wheel tool that uh we had to run through the lines just to make, make sure that we have the those lines um gen, you know created and so we're using that sprayer to just kind of uh moisten up the surface a little bit and then we spray it so overall you know everything worked out pretty great uh we had a few details we clarified with the customer there's a few lines you know that we just went back through and uh with that little wheel tool just making sure everything looks nice but uh, everything turned out really great customer was very happy and that's pretty much the process of how we do the stamp border finish we hope you like this video please subscribe for more videos and we'll see you on the next one